This is Eagle Al, and today I'm going to be talking about Devontae Smith and Jalen Hurts and how Devontae Smith admires Jalen Hurts' work ethic, and he's one of the reasons, and I will get to that. And also, Cam Jurgens. Cam Jurgens is struggling during camp, or he just had one bad camp day. But let's get straight into it. All right, um... I want to talk about this underrated duo. Let's just get straight to it, right? Underrated duo and Devontae Smith and Jalen Hurts. So Devontae Smith appeared on the Pivot podcast with, you know, Ryan Clark and those boys. They definitely got a great podcast. And, you know, they asked him about Jalen Hurts. And he spoke about how Jalen Hurts has such a big influence on him. And he's one of the reasons that. Jay, that Devontae Smith, I'm sorry, went to Alabama. But let me go ahead and play the clip and listen to Devontae Smith say what he said. Ended up where he is now. Getting an opportunity to see him go through what he went through in the national championship, having to transfer to Oklahoma to finish his career, and to watch him become one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. What's that feeling like for you to see one of your homeboys do that? Uh, I mean, it's amazing, man, you know. Part of the reason I went to Alabama was because of Jalen. Every time I went to visit, he was the guy I was with, him and Calvin. And, you know, I just always got that vibe that he was always about business. You know, you go other places, guys want to, you know, go out to party and things like that. That ain't me. I don't want to do that. Every time I went with him, it was watching film, football, talking, things like that, just chilling in the room and stuff. And then, you know, him being from Houston, being a country boy, we eat the same food and stuff, balling and stuff like that. Like, the connection was always there. So just seeing him go through that and then the way he handled it and things he's doing now, you know, I'm very proud um, to a guy that, you know, I kind of looked up to when I was coming into college with his work ethic and things like that, the way he handled things and just seeing how it paid off. And like, you know, the younger generation, they can see that, like the things that he did, how he worked, how he didn't run away from it and things like that. He just always trusted the process. I love everything Devontae Smith said. Get that out the way. I really do. He's saying like, look. And Ryan Clark, I didn't play the full question. He was like, when y'all won the championship, that had to be like one of Jalen Hurts' worst days. And to you, that's, that was one of your best days. You got the championship. You had one of your best games. But your quarterback get benched, too, and stuff comes in, you know, and finish the job. But Jalen Hurts was down. Like, we got to be real. He's human, you know. And he's like, look, man, for him to go through that, and where he at today, say what you want. Jalen Hurts is a top five quarterback. Devontae Smith, respect that. Devontae Smith, definitely respect his work ethic and admire it because he's like, man, I don't know why I'm recapping on it, but he's like, man, look, I went to these other schools. These dudes want to party, show me the parties, this and that. He like, I want to play ball and I want to go somewhere where a team is focused. So if Jalen Hurts really didn't show Devontae Smith that, Alabama was a focused team and wanted to win a chip, he probably would have played somewhere else. So not only Jalen Hurts played a huge role with the Philadelphia Eagles getting A.J. Brown, but Alabama should be thanking Jalen Hurts as well for bringing in Devontae Smith, a Heisman winning wide receiver. Right, so that just speaks to Jalen Hurts' leadership. And Jalen Hurts, man, he he's he's something else. And I always said when that work ethic and the talent meets, he's going to be very hard to stop because in this point of his career, yes, he's a leader. He can lead these guys. He could talk to these guys and all that. But his play wasn't up to par just yet. And each year he got better and better and better. Sure, it wasn't just talking. I'm watching a film. I'm going to guys teaching me how to throw teaching me how to get these technicalities right because he wants to start in this league. Jalen Hurts really loved a game of football. Is he happy he's paid? It's the NFL of business, absolutely. But I always admire a guy that loves to work too. I actually admire a guy more who loves to work more than the money, meaning he know the more he work, the money is going to come. I hate the opposite part, the, the money, the money. And then you lacking on the work. And I feel like it's the total opposite with Jalen Hurts. So, again, shout out to Jalen Hurts. You know, 
he, he's the real deal, man. He's definitely the real deal. And all the stories just sound the same. Uh, feel like I'm bashing Carson Wentz again, but with Carson Wentz, it was wishy-washy. Some people like them, some people don't. But even like a guy like Nick Foles, Nick Foles was an ultimate leader, you know. But again, Jalen Hurts did something Nick Foles really couldn't do. Nick Foles was good with the Philadelphia Eagles, but he was always inconsistent. And Nick Foles' leadership and talent never really meshed until, of course, the Super Bowl. And he yeah, he could get on these very, very hot streaks. But he was very inconsistent. Whereas, though, Jalen Hurts has been consistent. Not only consistent, but getting better and better and better. You can look at a Jalen Hurts and, like, he's the franchise quarterback. Nick Foles, you, you looked at him like, yeah, he gets hot. Can he play a full season like this? Is he going to get Nick? Uh, is he gonna miss half of the season? Nick Foles was iffy, iffy, but I love Nick Foles. I actually got to get a number nine jersey. You know, Jalen Hurts to me is turning out like what Nick Foles should have been for the Philadelphia Eagles, in my opinion. Long term franchise quarterback, won multiple Super Bowls, and I think Jalen Hurts can do that as time goes on. All right. So let's get into Cam Jurgens, man. I, I I can't believe this is uh a big thing with the Eagles or the Eagles fan base. Cam Jurgens has reportedly struggled one practice. One out of fifteen, he struggled one day. One day. He was like, Man, I don't know. We should be looking for another right guard. I don't know about Cam Jurgens. Can he hold up? He struggled one day. You know, um, Cam Jurgens, again, he will get it together, but it's no reason to overreact to one day. It's not like we should trade for a right guard or he's been struggling every day, every single day. It's been the problem. He simply, again, had one day. And people are overreacting. Like, maybe we should get Tyler Steen a shot, this and that. Um, No, I don't think that's the case. Again, uh, Colts, they got a decent front. They got a decent front. And, you know, players have bad days. Jalen Hurts had a bad day at camp. Uh, I'm pretty sure sometimes Devontae Smith ain't had the best day. Or A.J. Brown that had the best day. Dallas Goddard. We've seen the early reports about N'Kobe Dean not flashing. But for Cam Jurgens to have one bad day, I think we overreacted. See, me with Cam Jurgens, I don't want him to be a right guard for selfish reasons. And my selfish reasons is that I don't feel like going through another draft where we draft another center. I just don't. I think Cam Jurgens, the way he moved, He's like a bigger version of Jason Kelsey. He could get out to the screens pretty fast. That's why I think even him at right guard will work out for him, especially on screen plays. But for selfish reasons, I don't want him to be a right guard. And then I feel I want him to fall back another year, just learn another year under Kelsey. I believe this year will be Kelsey last year. I didn't say that the previous two years, but I think this year, no matter what we do, I think this is going to be Kelsey's last year because I just think so. I think he's ready to wrap it up. He's working on his podcast. He's doing a lot of media stuff. And again, no matter what happened this year, I think he's just going to hang it up. Now I'm like, man, Cam Jurgens is to sit out one more year. But again, he wants to play and we see what he got during the season and if he's struggling during the season then you have a Tyler Steen but I doubt that's going to happen but bad games happen for everybody bad, bad practice happen for everybody so again it's no reason to overreact saying we need another right guard this and that nah I don't I don't think that's the case one bad practice don't define you and I hope Cam Jurgens don't let that get to his head but hey man what do you think and how do you feel about Jalen Hurts and Devontae Smith, it's an underrated duo. You know, we talk about Jalen Hurts and AJ a lot, but we don't really talk about a lot is the Devontae Smith and Jalen Hurts, you know, meshing or coming together, doing great things. 
and how much Devontae Smith actually admires Jalen Hurts. We don't talk about that a lot. And Cam Jurgens again, one day in practice, struggle, no biggie. He will be fine. And I can't wait for the game Thursday, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this morning video. You know, I always try to give y'all one in the morning. But this is Eagle Pound.